Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Puckett. I'm a board certified chiropractic neurologist, and today we're going to talk about what to do with weight loss resistance. When you've done the right things, you've already done the diets, you've tried several different diets, you've, you're doing your exercise, you're getting your sleep, you're doing the right things to lose weight, and you may have lost a little bit and then it plateaued. You may have lost a little bit and then it bounced back because what you were doing wasn't sustainable. This is what we look at when we look at you, what's going on for you. Is why hasn't what should work? Why didn't it work for you? So one of the things we do for this is we run labs and we run labs to find out where is your chemistry off? Where is it that there's something going on in your body that even if you do the right things, it doesn't work? It's intensely frustrating when you, you use the willpower the people that I work with for weight loss, they are some of the most dedicated, committed, focused people. They have used their willpower to persevere through diets that they suffered with. They've done it to persevere with diets that were actually the right one, that were, should have worked. And they just kept pushing. The commitment's there, the results aren't. So when we find out and look for why, we look at what's going on with you and we run lab tests. We run lab tests to find out lots of different problems that could be slowing your metabolism down. And we're gonna talk about just a few right now. One of the big ones is anemia. Now anemia is when you don't have enough iron in your blood. Now the reason that that's a big deal for weight loss is that if you don't have enough iron, you're not gonna carry enough oxygen. If you don't have enough oxygen, you're not gonna have enough energy and that's gonna slow your metabolism down because you're not able to carry the oxygen to all the cells that need it. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna run not just the standard CBC panel, we're gonna look at a broader panel and look at how much actual iron you have in your body, how much ferritin you have, which is your reserves, and we're gonna see where are you vulnerable with this. Now we're gonna talk about lab ranges a lot, but let me talk about it here just a minute. In the medical world, there's rat laboratory ranges that are this big. 95% of the people that the doctor is suspicious about, and they do the blood work on, 95% of the people are within this range. So this is not a healthy range. Just because you're in this range just means you're not an A plus sick person. To be recognized as being sick, you must be at the top of the peak for sick. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a laboratory, uh, a functional range where healthy people should be. And healthy people have got their values here. If your lab values are in this zone, you're what's called the normal sick. Medically, you're normal, but functionally, you're sick, and you don't feel right. And we don't have to ha wait until you're this sick before we do something. So, one of the tests, one of the first things we look at is what's going on with your iron levels, and do you have the healthy amount, or are you in this normal sick range? I hope this helps answer some of your lingering questions about why you're not succeeding. We've got a lot of different ways we look at this question. Thanks. Thanks.